Hey everyone, Gary Simon of course Cetro. So today we have two things on our plate. First, I'm going to show you a really cool CSS trick that I just discovered, and then also talk a little bit about the fact that my channel is about to hit 200,000 subscribers probably in a few hours. All right, so this CSS trick that I learned today is really cool. Uh, before, I would have assumed what I'm trying, what we're going to try to do is only achievable with the help of JavaScript. And so, for instance, when somebody types in some text inside of a input field, right? You, if you wanted to show up a little message or do something in the DOM, you would essentially have to use JavaScript with that. But now you can do this with CSS for this specific use case. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Make sure you subscribe here and help me get to that 200K. At the time of recording this, I'm, I'm at 199,894. On just yesterday, I had 700 plus subscribers, so I should be able to get there today. Anyhow, let's go ahead. All right, to get started here, uh, I'm just going to create a new folder real quick. Make dir, um, we'll just call this cool CSS trick, and then we'll also cd into cool CSS trick. All right, open up Visual Studio Code real quick, showing on the other monitor as always. All right, and then index.html. And then also a main.css. We'll hit the exclamation point to create some boilerplate here and then also link up our main.css. Let me increase this so everybody can see what is going on. All right, so I, I'm just going to get out some initial HTML here um, just to demonstrate how this really cool effect works. So, first, uh, we're going to have Hit control B to get rid of that sidebar. Um, just an H1 tag, and I'm gonna put enter your details. Dude. Sorry if you're not a dude. I don't want to offend anybody. Um, and then we're gonna put, yeah, just enter your details here and stuff. Okay. Um, I, I don't feel like using lorem ipsum text. And then we're gonna have an input with a placeholder. Uh, and we'll say um, your name or something. I was going to say whatever, but that's getting a little bit ridiculous. Um, we're also going to have a div class as a message, like a little note that will show up. So you did it, you go. Um, we'll, we'll put that right there. And then finally, we'll put in a button. Click here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so that's the only HTML that we're going to have at this point. Um, Control B, right click. I, I do already have a live server going, so let me dispose of that. So right click, open with live server. All right, so if that doesn't, if that's not an option for you, I'm not sure if it's already integrated into Visual Studio Code. I need to find that out before doing the drills. Um, then yeah, just install the live server uh, plugin or extension. All right, so um, right here, yeah, this is real ugly. I'm a little bit anal about how things look being a designer. So let me just do some real quick rule sets. Um, I think uh, I'm just gonna paste some in here. So just a, a body selector input button, nothing specific to what we need to worry about really. Um, for this quick tip. So um, <laughs> let me reset that. There we go. Okay, so let's say, for instance, uh, we wanted to make it so that, oh, wait, this is still quite ugly. Let me fix that real quick. There was a couple, um, there was one more selector I, I needed to get going here. There we go. Okay, so right now, this you did it go, you go message. Let's say, for instance, we wanted this to show up um, only when stuff is being typed into the input field. Well, traditionally you'd have to use JavaScript for that, right? Of some sort, whether you're using uh, a library or framework, you would have to use JavaScript. Well, not any longer. So what I'm first gonna demonstrate um, a pseudo selector, two different ones uh, by themselves, and then combine them to make this effect work. All right, so first we're gonna talk about the not pseudo selector in CSS. All right, so if I, Real quickly, just go over here. We have this um, page here at the Mozilla Docs here. Um, the not pseudo CSS pseudo selector represents elements that do not match a list of selectors. All right, so it's kind of like a conditional except in CSS. All right, so just to demonstrate this, because we do have a variety of different types of um, CSS or HTML elements here, we'll just say, first we have to select an element. So if you want to say everything currently in this HTML, then we'll say body, all right? And then we'll put in the pseudo selector not, not note, and then in parentheses, what do we want to exclude? 
So this could be a pseudo selector or this could be a class. Um, this could be you know any type of selector of sorts. So I'll just say anything that's not a paragraph, then we'll color red. All right. So let's save that. We'll go back to our document and there you go. Pretty freaking sweet. So yeah, just enter your details and stuff is not red because it is a paragraph tag. So that's how the not pseudo selector works. So um, just to emphasize this more, um, we'll, we'll do uh, border, five pixels solid, blue, and you'll see it's not going to be outlined. Everything else is. Awesome stuff, this looks horrible. Okay, so um, now let's demonstrate what exactly the other pseudo selector is, which is placeholder hyphen shown. And we'll revert once again back to the docs here. And so placeholder shown is a CSS pseudo class that represents any input or text area element that is currently displaying a placeholder text. So that's why I added the placeholder attribute in HTML right here. So placeholder says your name. All right, so the way we would use this, we would simply say placeholder hyphen uh, shown. Let's put input here. And we'll say, for instance, um, border five pixel solid green. All right. So because it is currently shown and nothing's being typed in here, it'll show that green. But as soon as we take it away, it comes right back. Awesome. So now let's combine the not pseudo selector with the placeholder shown pseudo selector. All right. So again, we have to have that that root selector uh, in order to place the not uh, pseudo selector on. So that would be, uh, let's see. Yeah. Yep. It would be input. And on the input, we will say not. And then inside of here, we put the pseudo selector of placeholder shown. And then also we'll put plus message, the message class, and we'll change the opacity here to one. And then we're going to add to the message up here. By default, when the page loads, you don't want that message to show up um, for our use case or a fictional use case. So we're gonna make the opacity zero. Then hit save. Now, of course, it's not here because the placeholder, or by default, we have it at, at opacity zero. However, when we type something, there you go. It's now a conditional sort of CSS only feature that we've worked into this user interface. So um, uh, the example that I, I took this from, or, or I learned it from, or discovered it from, also add a cool transi transition opacity, 200 milliseconds, ease out. And then this just makes the experience even better. And it fades in and nice. So you can do a lot of cool stuff, even keyframe animations, or you know anything that you do with CSS. So I learned it from this little, uh, tutorial from webdesignernews.com or it's they linked from it um, from this user right here this website so um, very cool stuff I wanted to give the guy props for that all right so hopefully you enjoyed that really quick and very cool CSS tip so now I want to talk about the fact that my channel has hit almost hit uh, at the time of recording this uh, 200,000 subscribers so um, let me hit refresh here real quick so I'm at 894, yeah, 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 okay, cool. So I started this channel a long time ago. Um, eight years ago, I uploaded a video, um, and you can see it right here. If you go to my videos and you sort by uh, date added oldest, um, you'll see my, my very first video is right here um, in Photoshop about a pen tool tutorial. And that actually took off quite well. I, I was really, I, I, I didn't know it at the time for quite some time that it would get so many views. I just did it for the fun of it, whatever. Um, and, and during that time, that eight year time period, I only uploaded these five videos. And then I didn't upload any videos for a year. So this was not, this was not serious. Um, I don't even think I was monetizing anything back then. And if I did, it would have only been pennies early. 
Um, and then I fast forward two years later, I uploaded three videos. Um, again, I surprised that they actually had this, this many views. Um, and then fast forward a year later, I uploaded one, two, three, four, five, five videos. And so it's something that I never really took serious until, you know, relatively recently. It's, it's, it's an eight year old channel, but really, um, I only really started to push out content and take it seriously um, right around ye four years ago. And I remember I had this goal and this goal was put out a video on YouTube every single day for as many days as I could in a row. And that's exactly what I did starting right here using Photoshop to showcase mobile pro projects. All right, so this is four years ago. Um, this is at a time in my life where I was in bad shape physically, I think. Uh, <laughs> oh God. Um, I'm just, I'm just looking at this and see like my production quality, obviously, you know, was, was pretty crappy back then. I'm just like, I'm right in your face. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, let me check out a few more of these, uh, real quickly, just for the fun of it. Uh, I don't, I don't want to digress too much here. Here's a business card one. All right. So I amped up my stuff. Now look at my face. Let me just, now let me refer back, revert back to my face now. Yeah, I had some issues back then. I was drinking every single night and I just, it, it was it was a combination of uh, a habit that you know, I like drinking and I was working at the same time, it, but it was, it was only at nighttime, but it was like, you know, six to 10 beers a night, every night for like a year and a half. And it really showed in my face. I didn't realize that. I went to the gym and stuff and lifted weights, but I had no clue, but then Fortunately, I, something happened to where I had to stop. I had to cut back. I it had to do with blood pressure and anxiety issues. And, and, and I don't know why I didn't think about that before I was drinking that much freaking alcohol. Uh, but anyhow, I, I, I cut that out. Um, so I, 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 I drastically reduced the alcohol consumption in, in my face. Stopped being so freaking puffy. I mean, yeah, the before and after is pretty crazy just to get, uh, think about that. Um, but when I did this though, I was pumping out these videos. I, I started to understand that this is, you know, not something that I could make a living from because even back then and, and, and until relatively recently, I'd say as uh, recent as possibly like six, eight to 10 months ago or something, you know, it was only making me a few hundred dollars. Uh, a month I, I, so it, it was it was nothing I, I used it really as as an, as a way to push a website and, and paid courses and monetize it that way um, but then fortunately the revenue started to really increase as I started to kind of change my tactics and, and offer full courses on YouTube and, and more comprehensive t tutorials and stuff like that um, so I uh, what it has allowed me to do now I've gone from several hundred dollars a month to I uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a, approaching several thousand so uh, it just it's, it's one more income source that basically enabled me to uh, stop producing courses for other networks as a contractor so I recently quit that about four months ago I did my last course so I'm really really excited about that and that's also why you've seen my content production ramp up here in the past few weeks I've been really uh, focusing on YouTube. So I'm just going to show you guys some stats that I thought maybe you might find interesting. So this is uh, my subscriber report right here. Um, and this is from the very beginning. So, you know, all the way back, you could see this uh, from 2010. We could see uh, nothing was really happening, happening too much. And now because I, is this uh yeah, it's froze right now. Great. <laughs> I, it's froze because this is so much data that it's showing. Um, but as you can see, I right here, probably what is this around? Um, yeah, the later, the later, ha the later portion of 2017, things really started to increase very nicely. Um, and what's not shown here is the very last day, like uh, yesterday, the, the 20th, I had 760 subscribers, which is my highest ever uh, in a single day. So the channel is growing really nicely. Um, I, th I have one more here to show you. This is insane to think about. Um, the watch time, I, this is watch time in minutes. 
across the whole channel every video so if you took everybody who's you know watching my videos around the world and you calculated how much time they're watching how many minutes then this is what you would find so yes no two days ago um i think this is my highest but even yesterday was my all-time highest it's not showing up here yet um 136,000 minutes almost 137,000 minutes were watched in 90 which would be 95 days worth of people just listening to my voice crazy to think about um but yeah all of this would not be possible of course without you guys and especially your participation outside of just watching videos leaving a comment subscribing uh liking uh anything even if it's something that you don't like try to interact because it definitely helps the channel there's an algorithm in youtube i don't fully understand it but i do know if people engage uh, the better it is for a person's channel. So uh, YouTube, in be being a YouTuber now, that actually makes you know decent money when you compare it to, to a lot of other YouTubers. This is something perhaps that I'll start a secondary channel and start talking about this type of stuff a little bit more in terms of uh, YouTube because I may start a second channel um, for something entirely unrelated to tech and web dev and all that stuff. And, and that, that may be a, about um, music and gear stuff. I love playing guitar. Anyhow, I'm talking too much, but uh, I'm just really excited that it looks like it'll be today uh, that I hit 200,000 subscribers. So yeah, um, hopefully uh, you guys keep watching and keep supporting the channel. And I will see you guys very soon, perhaps a video tomorrow. If not, then definitely on Monday. All right, see you later.